Hey everybody and welcome back. Well, it's time to do another tutorial in Maya 2019 and we're going to be playing with FX today and we're going to be creating smoke. Okay, here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keysha. All right, everybody, so we're in my 2019 and we're gonna be talking about smoke today. Now, for those of you new to uh, creating smoke in Maya, there are a lot of things you can do to uh, make uh, the smoke suitable for your scene. So let's say you wanna create cigarette smoke or you want to create smoke from a house fire. They're quite different and there's so many controls you can play with. I'm gonna cover a few of them to get you on your way, right? So first of all, what you need to do is in the top left menu, uh, where you normally start off in the modeling menu, you go to your FX menu, and then you go up to uh, fluids, and you create a 3D container. Now as you do that, you will get this box right here with the grid pattern on the floor and that little speck in the middle. Well, the speck in the middle is your emitter that creates the actual particles that will create the smoke. The box is kind of the bounding box for your smoke. So any smoke that's generated in your scene will stay inside this box. So keep in mind, if you have a city that's on fire, you need to adjust the size accordingly. So either your uh, city fits inside the box or you make the box big enough to cover the city. So you can just hit R on your keyboard uh, to scale it, make it bigger or smaller, make it taller, and just change the shape on that, right? Now, uh, you can't grab the vertices on the corners, you can't do that. However, you can go in, hit Control A into the Attribute Editor, make sure you got your fluid shape uh, selected, and here you got your X, Y, and Z, where it says 10, 10, 10, and let's say you want it to be taller, you can type in 50, and there you go, right? I'm gonna leave that at 10, 10, 10 for now. But you can also control it like this way, like I said, okay? So we have that, and then we have the emitter in the middle. Now, first what we're gonna do is take our box, and we'll go into this view, and I'm gonna hit W, and I'm gonna kind of put it on the grid like this. All right, and then second, I'm gonna go in and take my little emitter here and push that down until it's just above the floor in my box, okay, cool. So what do we have so far? We're gonna set our animation slider here to 350 frames, and we're just going to play and see what happens. So you can clearly see that something's going on. We got some white stuff that doesn't really look a lot like smoke. Uh, it's moving upward. And as you can see, it's staying inside the box as I predicted. Okay. Now, why is this looking so bad? Well, we're going to hit stop. We're going to go back to frame one and we're going to click on this guy and we're going to go to the attribute editor and in this case we're going to look at the base resolution now the base resolution is the 10 by 10 squares on the bottom and that controls the resolution of your smoke particles so what we're going to do is we're going to bump this up to about i would say 50 or so now keep in mind that in your final uh, simulation when everything is uh, just right you can set this way higher to maybe 200 or even 300 to get a very crisp, nice, detailed smoke. But for now, that would slow down your workflow way too much. So we're gonna set it to 50 so we have a better view of what it's gonna look like, and we're just gonna hit play again. And there you go. So you can clearly see the difference. The smoke is hitting the top of the binding box. There you go, and it's coming down along the sides, and it looks great. However, the smoke is going straight up, right? There's not a lot going on. It looks somewhat unrealistic. So let's see what kind of settings we have here to play with, right? So we're going to scrub down here and we're going to look for the tab here where it says contents detail, okay? Now, when we open that up, you got, and I'll just close these, you got density, velocity, turbulence, temperature, fuel, color, and so forth. So let's look at the density for now. Now we have a density scale of 0 0.5. So if we just keep this on a loop, so it's playing continuously, right? Let's set this instead of 0 0.5 to, I would say five. You can immediately see the smoke responding, right? It looks much thicker. And that's the whole point of density, right? And we're gonna go back to, let's say 0 0.1, because I want this to look like cigarette smoke for now big difference, right? Okay. 
So now that we have this at 0.1, uh, we have more control. Let's say we want, uh, we don't want cigarette smoke, but we want smoke that will kind of linger just above the floor, like uh, kind of a fog type of deal, right? What we'll do is we'll take the buoyancy and we'll move this to a negative value. And I'll just increase the skill so you can see it better, right? So by setting this to a negative value, you see that's kind of lingering on the floor, almost like a swamp fog type deal, right? Now we don't want that, we want our cigarette smoke, so we're gonna go to 0.1 on the density, we'll take a positive value on the buoyancy, give that a second, and there you have it, starting to go up, right? And as it starts at frame one, you'll see that it will stay that way. Okay, cool. So now that we have all that, let's see what else we can do. We have velocity, we have turbulence. Well, velocity, uh, there you have the option to add a swirl, which is kind of neat. And as we do this, it will immediately start to look a little bit more like cigarette smoke. So let's add a little bit. And you can see that now there's kind of some movement going on and maybe it's a bit too much. So let's try 0.5. Let's have that play out for a second. Maybe a little bit more. Let's try one. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, we'll do one. And then we can add noise. And by doing that, that will really do the trick. Okay. Now, um, this doesn't necessarily still look like uh, cigarette smoke because it's a bit much, right? but you get the idea. So well, let's try a lower density, 0 0.02. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that could work, right? But I still want it to be visible for you guys. So let's go and hit this up to five so you can really see what's going on, right? So there you go. Now, um, we've got a high speed going on here. Um, let's bump that buoyancy down a little bit. And then we'll bring that density down a little bit. And there you have it. So a bunch of things you can do here uh, to give you more control over your smoke. Uh, that's basically what I, want, what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, if you guys have more Evix requests that you want me to do, please let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet and you don't want to miss out on future videos, please do that. And that said, thank you so much for watching. This is it for this video and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.